I've never put my hands on a female before. I've never heard a female before. Come do it to me! I just want to say, I'm done saving you. Period. I'm done saving you. I've been way too nice and saving you for way too long. So today, I am done saving you. Run the clip. When I, when I hit you, it, it was to right. grab your attention. It's fine. Make you look my way, bro. I am not a liar. I am not an abuser. When I hit you, if you're lacking energy on me, I'm going to try to do what I need to do to get my energy from you. It, it was to grab right. your attention. But if I'm not an abuser, then that means you're making up a fake story, right? Actually, wrong. Mm. So obviously you are trying to bash me. You're actually trying to bash me. You're trying to make me look like I'm the bad person. So you can go ahead and protect Diamond's image. So now that y'all know this man is trying to brainwash y'all. Now that y'all brain is unwashed. Let's go ahead and get to the part where Diamond has always been cheating on me. I'm going to go back to June 5th this year, 2019. This was like Diamond and Jason. They had done a video way back, like before this time or whatever. And um, it was, you know, the audience kind of liked them together or whatever. The, the most recent time that I can remember back in June, uh, so I have the uh, text message here from Jason, okay? He texts me, this was um, at 7.47 p.m. I actually was, uh, was at work. Um, and he sent me this text saying, do you know where Diamond is? And I answered, no. He says, I'm calling, but no response. Is she still in Boynton Beach? Now, for those of y'all who are probably gonna wonder, how did I know she was in Boynton Beach? Well, Diamond went to go get her nails done. And I want y'all to remember this. Diamond left my house mad at me. And she went to go get her nails done and her nails place where she used to go to, used to go to, is in that area, Boynton Beach. I, he said, I text her. I haven't gotten a I haven't gotten a response. She's been there since two, and I'm checking her location, and she's at a house. Now, think about this, people, for a minute. He has her location. They're not dating. All right, so I want y'all to remember that. He said this is sometime back in June. As a matter of fact, this was June fifth. Remember this date, June fifth. And I also want to confirm with y'all that this conversation is a real conversation we had on June 5th. As a matter of fact, here's my proof. Alright, so now that y'all seen the screenshot from my phone, let's keep going. So, if she's got something to hide from somebody, why would she put that person on her location? So y'all... I want y'all to listen to that one more time for me, please. One more time. Just listen. So, if she's got something to hide from somebody, why would she put that person on her location? Well, basically, we know this guy has an Android. But let me tell y'all something for those of y'all that don't know how iPhone work. You can have someone's location, right? But once that person turns their phone... On airplane mode, you can no longer see their location. Think about that for a minute. Y'all thought about it, right? But let's keep going though, let's keep going. Then he went back and sent me a picture of a house. So he basically sent me the house where she was, she was at. Yes, I sent him a picture of the house. Now how did I get a picture of the house? Google Maps. But how did I have the address to search in in Google Maps? Well, let me tell y'all something, guys. Diamond's location was off, right? Then I go back to looking, and I see her location on. So, boom, I screenshot it. Moments later, her location is back off. So, you know what I did? I searched up the house 
And now I, I, I looked and I'm like, okay, what is she doing here? What is she doing at a house? So now her dad opened up to me that I can hit him up whenever I need to, right? So if I don't know what Diamond is doing and she's my girlfriend and her dad opened up to me that I can go ahead and hit him up whenever, why wouldn't I hit him up to see what Diamond is doing when she's at a strange location, right? I don't, like, y'all catching me, right? Okay. He says, do you know whose house this is? I said, he said, I find it strange. She's been there that long, especially when I sent her a message and it said delivered and it went back to not delivering. See, there it is. Just like I said, it, look, I, I can't make this up. I, can't, I cannot make this up, y'all. The proof is right there. They're saying it themselves. I can't make this up. It went from not delivering to delivering to not delivering again. Now, who has an iPhone that can comment right now and can agree that that shows signs of being on airplane mode? Who, who can agree with me, please? Cause I can't make this up. I can't make it up, bro. I can't. But let's keep going though. Let's keep going though. I find it a little, for me, it was a little bit weird that he's texting me these things cause I'm not used to that type of stuff. We are, as a family, have each other's locations and we use it for safety. We don't use it to like spy on them. That stuff does it, that, you know, we don't do that kind of stuff here. A matter of fact, I want y'all to listen to this closely again. Listen closely to this part right here. We are, as a family, have each other's locations and we use it for safety. We don't use it to like spy on them. That stuff does it, that, you know, we don't do that kind of stuff here. So now y'all see how he says they have each other's location, but they use it for safety, not to spy on each other. So now do y'all see how he's trying to make me seem like I'm a spy? A matter of fact, if that makes me a spy, that makes Diamond a spy because Diamond has my location as well. And matter of fact, y'all obviously wouldn't be checking each other's location because you guys are family members. You guys are related, right? But now for those people that know about relationships, if your girlfriend is not answering, your boyfriend is not answering, and you're texting them, right? And you have their location. How many of you, how many of you would go to check in the location, right? Just because your girlfriend or boyfriend hasn't been answering in a long time. How many of you would go to check in the location? Because I know I would. So does that make me a spy for checking where my girlfriend is when she's not responding? Does that make me a spy? I mean, it doesn't make me a spy if she agreed to sharing her location with me, right? But okay, let's keep going though. So then I said, I don't know. So y'all see, when I asked him, whose house is this? He said he doesn't know, right? I want y'all to remember this. He said he does not know. Remember that. I was about to leave work and I said, you know what? Let me give him a call. So I called him and I, we talked for over an hour. It was like a, kind of like a father son type conversation where I explained to him how Diamond is, who Diamond, the kind of person that Diamond is, and that he had nothing to worry about. Hold on, let's listen to that one more time. So I called him and I, we talked for over an hour. It was like a, kind of like a father-son type conversation where I explained to him how Diamond is, who Diamond, the kind of person that Diamond is, and that he had nothing to worry about. So now you're telling me you know who your daughter is, right? And I don't have anything to worry about, right? Everybody remember that. Remember that I don't have anything to worry about. Okay? And I said, if she's somewhere, now I knew where she was. Wait, y'all, y'all heard that? Let, 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 let me replay it for y'all one more time. Hold on. Now I knew where she was. So now all of the sudden, you know where she was at, right? Hmm. But hold on, guys. Did, did, did this guy ever tell you guys whose house this was? As a matter of fact, I don't think I ever told y'all whose house this was. So he said he knew whose house this was, right? But he never said whose house was it. This is her ex's house. Y'all, this is her ex's house. So 
basically that leaves it to you knew your daughter was at her ex's house while she was messing with me, right? Or am I wrong? But let's keep going though. Because I knew that family quite well. Y'all see that, right? Actually, he, he just confirmed even more. He knew that family quite well. But let's keep going though. I know the father, the mother, I know, I know the family quite well. So how come you lied to me in June when I texted you whose house was this? Why, why'd you lie to me? Why'd you say you don't know? So now basically you're telling us you're a liar, right? But I, did, I didn't think at the time that was his place. How the hell would it not be my place to know where my girlfriend is at? If I'm always filming with her, I'm always with her, I'm always sleeping with her, I'm always at your house, she's always at my house, we're always out together, we're always having sex together. How, wait, how would it, it be my place to know where she was at? As a matter of fact, I was invited to Diamond's graduation by y'all. As a matter of fact, I went to the graduation with y'all. Matter of fact, I sat right by y'all. So, now you're telling me I'm hanging out with y'all, but you don't think it's my place to know where my girlfriend's at? Hmm. Because, you know, again, why? Let me tell y'all why it was my place, dog. I love that girl so much, bruh. Literally, I've never ever done anything to hurt that girl. I've never cheated on that girl. I've never made no other girl feel like they had any type of relationship with me while I was with her. Nothing, bro. I was so faithful to her. I was so nice to that girl. And you just gonna like make it seem like if, if I ain't love her, like you just gonna make it seem like I'm such a bad guy. But let's keep going though. That's back in June. So you guys can go back and look at some videos or whatever to see when the two of them started dating or whatever it is. Okay. So I talked to him and I explained and I'm like, you know what, Jason? If you are, if you're interested in Diamond, as her father, somebody that knows her quite very well, that knows almost everything that she does, I probably know 80% of whatever Diamond does because we have that kind of close relationship. Hold up, y'all heard that, right? I'm going to replay this one more time so y'all can remember this, okay? As her father, somebody that knows her quite very well, that knows almost everything that she does, I probably know 80% of whatever Diamond does because we have that kind of close relationship. So y'all heard exactly what he said, right? Matter of fact, let me re-quote it for y'all. As her father, someone that knows her quite very well, that knows almost everything that she does, I probably know 80% of what Diamond does because we have that type of close relationship. Now, I want y'all to remember that, okay? But let's continue on the video. No, I said you must have probably got her upset or something and now you're worried looking for her. So y'all, exactly what he just said is true. As a matter of fact, I want y'all to listen to that one more time. No, I said you must have probably got her upset or something and now you're worried looking for her. Now, I'm going to re-quote what he said. He said, you must have got her upset or something and you're worried looking for her. Now... Let's go back to earlier when I told you why she was mad at me real quick. Now, for those of y'all who are probably going to wonder, how did I know she was in Boynton Beach? Well, Diamond went to go get her nails done. And I want y'all to remember this. Diamond left my house mad at me. And she went to go get her nails done. And her nails place where she used to go to, used to go to, is in that area, Boynton Beach. Alright, so now, to break it down for you guys to understand, why was Diamond mad at me? Because I didn't want to film the 24-hour handcuff challenge, right? Y'all remember I said that, right? And that same day, she went to go get her nails done, right? 
So that means she left my house mad at me and when she went to go get her nails done, she went to Boynton Beach. But we also know that her ex lives in Boynton Beach. We already know all of that, right? So now, don't y'all think that goes back to what I was saying that she was with me for the clout for social media purposes? Now, why am I saying this? Well, pay attention to this real quick. She gets mad at me because I don't want to film a video, right? Where does she go when she's mad at me? Her ex's house, right? Why doesn't she stick around me when she's mad at me in the real life world? Why? Y'all seen where she went, right? When she was mad at me, right? So obviously we know this whole time she really was never with me. She was really with someone else in the real life world, right? Are, are y'all catching that or do I have to repeat it again? But anyway, let's keep going though. He's like, yeah, I, I ain't gonna lie. Um, you know, I really, it's really my fault. It's really my fault. So now y'all see how in the beginning he said he's not trying to bash me, right? And I'm not out here. I didn't come here to bash Jason. But do y'all see how now he's trying to mock me, right? He's like, yeah, I, I ain't gonna lie. Um, you know, I really, it's really my fault. It's really my fault. A matter of fact, if he wasn't trying to bash me, then how come he posted this video on Instagram? Oh, sh this your girl King said, and I said, I'm back with my girlfriend, it's so ashy. And I said, I'm back with my girlfriend, it's so ashy. King said, honey, what do you want me to post today? I don't know, honey. I don't know, honey. But let me examine you. Let me examine Come on. That means dad pulled up to my house today. He pulled up to my house today. He pulled up with some hygiene products. He had like, I think something, I don't know, like lotion for my lips and, you know, um, bleach for my yellow teeth. And, you know, I was so scared I ran out the back door. What did that mean dad say again? He said, come do it to me. Come do it to me. Oh my God, my bed chest. Um, my bed chest. Oh my God, my Brillo chest. I got Brillo. No mean. Come do it to me. Come do it to me. <laughs> now, what are you going to say that this is just for entertainment purposes only? If it was for entertainment purposes only, then why are you switching up my gender now? Oh, sh this your girl King Sid. Why are you saying, oh, it's your girl King Sid? We know I'm not a girl. But wait, didn't you say you wasn't trying to bash me though, right? But let's keep going though. I said, okay, you don't have nothing to worry about. I'm just letting you know you don't have nothing to worry about. Because I know where she is. And I know what's going on where she is. So you have nothing to worry about. So now you're telling me I have nothing to worry about. But my girlfriend is at her ex's house. And you know where she is and... You know what she's doing, right? You know what's funny, y'all? He never told y'all whose house this was. But he told y'all he knows what she's doing and she knows he knows where she's at. So that means this whole time you knew your daughter was at her ex's house while she was messing with me, right? But let's keep going, though. All I can say to you is you have to treat her right. And I said, because Diamond had told me prior that I don't understand, like, he treat me, he, the way he talks to me is not the same as he talks to his mother, his sisters, or whatever. He has this thing that, like, you know, a little bit disrespectful at times or whatever. And, and I brought that on to him. I, I brought it up to him because Diamond had already told me about it, you know? So I said to him, when you talk to Diamond, just... Think of her as one of your siblings. And if you go that route, I guarantee you, Diamond will be around you 24-7 because Diamond is that type of person. I'm going to tell y'all something. Just because we argue doesn't mean I don't treat her right. Every couple argues. As a matter of fact, that's a real life thing that happens in the real life world. I'm sorry that you don't live in the real life world and that you don't argue with your daughter. But um, I know I argue with my mom, my dad, my sisters, my friends, 
What makes you think I probably wouldn't argue with Diamond if I'm always with her? We're not gonna always get along 100%. We're not always gonna get along 24-7. So me arguing with her doesn't mean I don't treat her right. As a matter of fact, everyone knows that I treat her right. As a matter of fact, if I don't treat her right, then why is she still around me uh, in, in, in the period of time? So really what you're saying is not adding up. But let's keep going though. She's, she's attracted to just people being nice overall. So you don't have to put that front that you're tough, you, you don't have to do that. No, actually she's attracted to things going her way. You know why? Because you made her that way. You spoiled her so much. And I'm not saying there's nothing wrong with this. I'm not telling you how to raise your daughter. But you spoiled her so much now that now in the real life world when things don't go her way, it's going to be so difficult for her to get over it. But in the real life, everything doesn't always have to go her way. As a matter of fact, I'm a human too. I have my own standards too. So you think just because you let everything go her way, another man supposed to let everything go her way? It's not like that actually. As a matter of fact, in these type of situations in a relationship, it has to be 50-50. Both of y'all have to come to an agreement. So now that I'm starting to think about it, you were speaking about slaves. Where he made these people basically like his little slaves. But I'm starting to think about it. Maybe she was making me her slave. I said to him, I said, I'm her dad. I don't act that way with her. I treat her with respect. Just like I said, you're her dad and I'm her boyfriend. We play two different roles in her life, actually. And matter of fact, you're a grown man and I'm 19 years old. And matter of fact, we actually don't do the same things for her because of the roles we play for her so now you saying you're her dad doesn't really mean anything we know you bought her an i8 we know you do everything for her you know you gave her your life already right so just because the way you treat her you can't expect everyone else to treat her now you're making it seem like just because you treat her so good i don't treat her good enough right that's that's really what you're making it seem like right but really the way I treated her was great. Everybody knows I treated that girl great. So don't come at me trying to tell me, oh, you're her dad if you treat her this way. It, no, it does not work like that. No, it does not work like that. If I wanted to be her dad, I would have had her. I would have raised her. I didn't raise her. I'm not her dad. I'm her boyfriend. I'm playing my role. You're playing your role. But let's keep going, though. We had an L.A. trip um, for like five days. It was me, Diamond him and one of his friends. I don't want to mention his name because he has nothing to do with that. Okay, so now we're mentioning the LA trip. As a matter of fact, here's some pictures from August 8th to August 12th. Remember the dates. Now, Diamond had given me warning signals about his personality, that he's immature, um, he's got to be the center of attention, um, and like he doesn't really, really respect her around their peers like you know other people that do YouTube or whatever He typically won't won't like acknowledge her as this is my you know Whatever it is my girlfriend whatever he typically won't do these things So y'all I want y'all to listen to this one more time, please This is my you know Whatever it is, my girlfriend, whatever, he typically won't do these things. Do y'all see how he was stuttering trying to find out what our relationship status was, right? So, basically, I'm starting to think that this whole entire time, you probably didn't even know who was really your daughter's boyfriend. That's what I'm starting to think. Because you couldn't even say that I'm her boyfriend. And I'm always with her. I'm always n near you guys, right? As a matter of fact, check this out. Let's let's listen to this one more time. Like he doesn't really, really respect her around their peers, like you know other people that do YouTube or whatever. He typically won't won't like acknowledge her as. So do y'all see what he said? I typically won't acknowledge her. Well, I mean, everybody knows you're my girlfriend. I'm always posting you. I'm making majority of my videos with you. And you get mad at me because we go to L.A. for the first time ever and I go to a place where I don't even know these people. And you're mad because I don't introduce you but you're right next to me. 
-hmm. Now, I know that you start introducing people when you actually know that person and that person doesn't know that person or that person doesn't know that person. You get it? So, if I don't know the person, matter of fact, if we both don't know them, it's 99% chance they know us because we do everything together, right? If they know me on YouTube, they know you, right? Right? So you're literally getting mad at me because now I didn't acknowledge you to some YouTubers, right? That goes back to the social media thing I'm telling y'all, right? Anything something goes wrong with social media, anything something goes wrong on YouTube, it's my fault, right? But let's keep going though. So it so happened that while we were there in the hotel, I was downstairs waiting because well, I was going to take them somewhere. Um, it was Diamond and Jason. And they came downstairs in the lobby, and Diamond said to me, and you know, I put in a video clip of that. Jason never cares when I'm hungry. Mm, me, 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 me. You don't care either, because let me tell you something. This girl post made a Chick Fil A only for herself. No, and what? She did, I didn't get any. Girl, girl, stop, 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 stop ripping my hair. I told you that. I was stop not trying that. to do that. That hurt. I hate when you do that shit. Look. So now you put up a video of me telling Diamond, chill, 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 I hate when you do that Shh. Well, let me tell y'all something real quick. One thing I know about myself is that I'm very, very tender-headed and I don't like when people rip through my hair. So for me to tell you...